Hello and welcome to Insights from Autistic. I am Armand Kudai, and today's video we're going to discuss support groups. Uh, I'm a 24-year-old individual of high-function autism, and I myself, I run uh, a main support group that's kind of a mixed group, and I also have just started running a young adult group, and I also have plans to start a teen support group soon. So, I've learned many things over the years, and so if I, you know, I've, I've, if I could go back in time, I'd probably change you know a few things but you know that's that's the thing about learning so I've been running the main support group for about a year and a half now so a lot well, I hear from a lot of parents that you know that a lot of support groups out there are very negative that they don't really offer them the hope the support that they really need because you know it's either complaining about the way the children are you know um, looking at their children as being something less and so parents you know there's a lot of parents who are looking for something else out there and so if you're a parent looking for a support group, you know, you might have to start your own. And when you do, you have to set the ground rules from the beginning that, that this is not going to be about that. This is going to be about empowerment and inspiration and all those sort of things. Uh, you know, what might help out a great deal is trying to get someone of autism, you know, or getting people, different people of autism, you know, to attend the group. We may begin someone of autism to run the group because the perspective of someone of autism and, and the perspective of the parents are, are sometimes two very different things. And, and I'm not, I'm no offense to any parents out there, but... You know, sometimes, you know, what, what a parent perceives to be, you know, wrong with their child, someone of autism says, you know, no, 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 this is, this is perfectly fine and normal. And, and you have to realize that your child, you know, you might perceive your child as, as being, you know, going through one thing, you know, but it, it's sometimes, you know, you as a parent that's really going through the pain. You know, it's you that's crying your head off. It's you that, that is feeling like society doesn't accept your child. You know, the child doesn't necessarily feel any of those things. Um, and so... And so it's, it's sometimes very helpful to get that out of perspective. Um, you know, and also when you find your support group, one of the things that you might want to uh, think about is you have to find a location. You have to do some advertising, so those are, and you have to find the parents or whoever to show up. So those are some things to keep in mind. Now, the how I run my group is I usually try to get you know, a speaker every week. It's usually me who's who's doing the speaking, but it's you not know, on a different topic, very similar to this YouTube series. Uh, sometimes we have different speakers, and you might have someone who, you know, is a psychologist. You might have someone that, you know, works in a certain field of people with autism. And so try to get, you know, different speakers to get a different perspective. Uh, and another thing that, and then after that, we tend to have a social skills workshop. Now, depending on your group, you know, if you're a parent-based group, you know, you might not have a need for that. But, but for, you know, if you have a teen group, uh, even a young children's group, uh, Adult group, you know, I might have some acting lessons going on, or some dance lessons, or or whatever the case may be, you know, depending. You know, so for social, you know, you might teach life skills, you know, how to spend money, how to balance a checkbook, how to understand body language, eye contact. Some things that we do is I, I you know, we get these cards. We do, you know, one of the things that I do is uh, I have the people attending groups to do, you know, two truths and a lie. You know, so you tell two truths about yourself and one lie. A lot of people autism have a hard time, you know expanding their imagination or lying and not all of them have very good imaginations but this is a good way to to do that another thing is to have the people autism go to the room find someone that they don't know and interview them and at least find out three things that they don't know about them come back you know once everybody's done you know come back in a circle have everybody introduce each other you know i mean instead have the people who interviewed the person introduce the person that they interviewed so this is a good way to expand that another thing is you know try to keep in mind the interests of people of autism you know a lot of people of autism they like you like trains, you like Star Wars, you like video games, whatever, and try to talk about those interests, and, and then find the kids who like have those similar interests, pair them together, you know, because it's really about making them feel better, empowering them, you know, developing friendships, and so, so, because because when the thing about people autism, they have they have intense focuses, they they know everything about what it is that they like, or they or they love talking about to death. So when you find two people who love that, you know, they'll get together, and it's like an explosion of awesomeness. So. It's really amazing when you see that happen and come together. And then towards the end of my group, we tend to have a general discussion. You know, this is like what most groups are like. You know, they have the discussion going on, and, and you know, this is where you bring up any concerns or whatever. Now, one thing to keep in mind if you're running the group, you're going to have to be, you're going to have to be in control because at times there's going to be parents who are blah, 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 blah. No offense to the parents that they're like that, you know. But, you know, and they're going to talk for a long time, so you have to, you know, cut them short, cut them off move the conversation forward, you know, uh, you know, say, hey, uh, person over there hasn't talked to you, you know, what, what's your opinion about what's being discussed, or, or is there anything going on with you? 
And another thing to keep in mind is that sometimes people will get very excited and, and, then, and then while someone else is trying to talk, two people in the corner will start talking. You have to cut them off because it is rude for those people to be talking. All right, no offense to, to, um, to those who do that, you know, but it, it does happen sometimes. I think I've been guilty of it even myself at times. But it is rude, and, and the person who's talking, they want, you know, it's their turn. And so don't forget that it's their turn when they're talking. Another thing that I just started doing is, is um, doing some brainstorming sessions. And, and it's a great thing, and moving, aside from the brainstorming sessions, another thing is is that, you know, some people think they're going to want to roll, you know, whether it's even bringing, you know, food and drinks or whatever, you know, you can sign that to certain people because some people will want to do that. You know, some people, you know, maybe you can start thinking about group activities and making group leaders, um, you know, offering a level of empowerment. And so, like I said, another thing that I just started to do is brainstorming sessions. And I think it's very important, you know, that you do not put down the ideas of whoever's speaking. So you have someone with autism and they're discussing their, their ideas. You know, maybe they're like, they have a wonderful idea and you think it's impossible. And, you know, their idea is to say, all right, let's come up with a nonprofit organization whose goal is to provide millions of dollars in scholarships for people with autism. And they're like, yeah, that's a great idea, but no, I don't think it's possible. No, do not do that. No matter how insane, no matter how crazy the idea is, so you know we'll consider that idea. We'll try to find a way to do that, you know, and, and sit on the idea. Maybe bring it up a month later, or whatever. But do not put down the idea right away because when you acknowledge the idea and you don't put it down, you know this this will give the uh, the person who's who made the idea a sense of empowerment. You know, maybe that that person who also says let's make that that you know give up millions of dollars of scholarships for people with autism, you know, and by you saying you know all right that that's a good idea. Instead of saying, no, we can't do that, you know, by you saying that's a good idea, then, you know, they might say, ah, I, I think this is possible. I think I can find a way to do this. You know, they might start doing the research to do it. You know, they might, you never know, this might get them to be start socializing, you know, start interviewing people. You know, they might start talking to their congressmen or to the local state senators, the mayor, to, to various, um, you know, whoever's. You know, so this, this is a good, this could be, end up being a good social experience for them anyway. And you never know, they might make it possible. So no matter, no matter how insane the idea, uh, do not put it down. The brainstorming sessions are for putting ideas out there and empowerment and also putting ideas out there to move the group forward. So don't forget that. And so anyway, that, that's the main ideas that I have to talk about. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope that, that good comes out of it. I hope new support groups get created. I hope that if you're a parent that that you are empowered, that you feel better about your child if you're so of autism. I hope that you accomplish great things and that you create, that you join or create an incredible group that does incredible things. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a most awesome day of awesomeness.